Hey guys, this is Beta, and today I want to talk about the 10 rules of Ikigai. Okay, what is the meaning of Ikigai? There's an island in the southernmost uh, region of Japan, which they call it Okinawa, and people who live there believe that uh, if you keep yourself busy with doing something that you love, or you ask yourself some questions, it actually gives you a sense of purpose, or it will let you to a more fulfilled and more purposeful life. Ikigai is broken into four questions or areas of your life that uh, you should ask yourself. The first question is that, what do you love? Uh, that is, uh, for example, uh, if you didn't have to work or make money, which path uh, would your heart follow? Well, secondly is, uh, uh, what are you good at? This is actually an easy question, for example, uh, you can think of yourself that uh, what are you are passionate about, for example, you're passionate of creating something or to do a certain job uh, which you think that you will be great at or you are uh, pretty much good at organizing or managing people to do the things that you are passionate about. And so this is actually, this will become your vocation. Thirdly, and this is where the question becomes more difficult, is that what does the world need from you? How do you think that you can contribute to the world and make it matter? Also, asking questions of yourself like why are you here on earth? Why are you were born? Or uh, can you achieve something that help other people or uh, make you socially important or uh, to help uh, to make the world a better place? Sometimes other people will see things in you that you yourself cannot see them in yourself. Or, uh, you know, uh, you can reflect on how people perceive you and how that may help uh, the society. Finally, the fourth question is probably the easiest to answer, uh, which is that, what can you get paid for? What occupation have you got? What value can you bring to your uh, actually job in order to assist or help a company in working well. Uh, totally, Ikigai is a Japanese word uh, which it means that a reason to leave, a reason to get up in the morning. These questions are set as a way of getting your Ikigai, um, which is an equal balance in your life, pursuing your passion, enjoying life with the least stress and anxiety, possible. Uh, so if you find uh, a good combination of uh, the answers of what you love and then do what you love, get paid for it and uh, reaching where you want to be and get that position in the society that you want from yourself, uh, then it may help you enhance your life and your health to live longer. So here are 10 rules of Ikigai. You probably work, you live in a city, you have many responsibilities, you have financial stress, relationship problems, and a lot of things on your mind and so on. Uh, I know it's hard for you to get uh, to adopt all of those 10 rules of Ikigai, uh, but some of them are really easy to implement. Uh, keeping in your mind that these aren't the rules that you have to do in order to achieve your Ikigai. These are just suggestions and some of the habits that you can adopt in order to uh, discover your Ikigai and go for it. Uh, first of all, the question that you can ask yourself is that uh, what are uh, some of those rules that I can easily implement in order to help me with my day-to-day -day life? Stay active, don't retire. Those who give up on uh, the things that they love doing them or to do them will lose their purpose in their life. Uh, that's why it's really important to uh, keep on doing the things of value, making progress, uh, bringing beauty and utility to others, helping out, shaping the world around you, uh, even after your official professional activity uh, that has ended. Take it slow. Being in a hurry is inversely proportional to the quality of life. As an old saying goes, walk slowly and you'll go far. When we leave urgency behind, uh, then time and life take on new meaning. If you're in a hurry all the time, it means that uh, it actually incites that you're under stress or uh, you're not mindful of your decisions and you're in control and you're not doing uh, the things that you really want to do. Don't fill your stomach. 
which I think this could be the hardest one. Less is more when it comes to eating for a long life too. According to the 80% rule, um, in order to stay healthier longer, uh, we have to stop stuffing ourselves and eat less in order to live longer. According to a Japanese proverb, which it says, uh, eating up to 80% full keeps the doctors away. Surround yourself with good friends. Friends are the best medicines, therefore, confiding your worries over a good chat, sharing stories that brighten your day, getting advice, having fun, dreaming together, in other words, living. Ishikawa says that young people often say that uh, we, don't, we do not have any ikigai in our lives. Uh, and he says that uh, that's true because you have isolated yourself and you cannot have ikigai. Ikigai is found in an interpersonal relationships. Uh, you know, this quote of Ishikawa actually highlights the importance of uh, interpersonal relationships. Uh, naturally, without relationships, uh, we cannot experience connection, intimacy or love, nor we can um, share our joy, our fears, our struggles and so many things together. Get in shape for your next birthday. What a move! And it is at its best when it flows fresh and it doesn't stagnate. So this body, uh, which is moving through in life, needs uh, a bit of daily maintenance in order to keep it running for a long time. Plus, exercise uh, releases hormones which make us feel happy. Smile. A cheerful attitude is not only relaxing, but also it helps you to make friends. It's good to recognize the things that aren't so great, but we should never forget uh, what a privilege it is to be in here and now in a world full of possibilities. We connect with nature. Though most people live in cities, but uh, human beings are made up of natural things, so we should return to it sometimes in order to recharge our batteries. Are you familiar with the uh, Japanese word Shinrin Yoko, uh, which means nature bathing? It means connecting to nature with five senses of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. And uh, it is actually a mindfulness practice in order to help humans to reconnect with nature, to rejuvenate their bodies, and give the mind of human a moment of peace. Give thanks to your ancestors, to nature which provides you the air you breathe and the food you eat, to your family and friends, to everything that brightens your days uh, which make you feel lucky to be alive. Spend a little time, a moment every day giving thanks to them and you will watch this stockpile of happiness grow in your life. Live in the moment. You've heard about it a lot. Stop regretting the past, fearing the future. Today is all you have, so make the most of it. Make it worth remembering. From the moment we wake up to the moment we fall asleep, we are constantly having an internal dialogue with ourselves. Uh, our mind jumps from one worry to another uh, and forgot to be aware of the present of each moment. 
The last one is follow your ikigai. There's a passion inside you, a unique talent uh, that gives meaning to your days, and it actually makes you share the best of yourself uh, until the very end. If you don't know what your ikigai is yet, uh, as Victor says, you have to discover it. Discover your ikigai. There's an eight-week program in order to discover your ikigai. I'm gonna tell you in my other videos. I hope it was useful for you and thank you so much for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe me and give me a thumbs up. Goodbye.